I'm quitting Mad English TV. I quit. I quit. I realized it's time to get a real job to save up enough money to buy a house. Um, you know, I can't make videos in this place because the people upstairs are too loud. So I realized I need to get my own apartment. And then, after I have my own apartment, then I can start making videos again. But I don't have enough money to buy a house right now, so I realized it's time to quit and get a real job um, so I can buy a condo in the future. So I decided I'm going to work as a stock boy at Walmart. Do you know what a stock boy is? A stock boy is someone who, who puts products on the shelf and does other things around the store. So I'm going to work as a stock boy at Walmart. Now, stock boys usually make minimum wage. Okay, minimum wage is the lowest wage. But the good news is that here in Alberta, minimum wage is $15 an hour. And that's the highest in Canada. Did you know that? Minimum wage is the highest in Alberta here. In most other provinces in Canada, minimum wage is like $12 an hour. But here in Alberta, it's $15 an hour. So if I work as a stock boy at Walmart, I will make $15 an hour, okay? And if I work 40 hours per week, that means I will make $600 a week. And if I work four weeks a month, that's $2,400 a month, okay? Now, how much is that per year? Well, that's $28,800 per year, okay? But here are my expenses, okay? So I pay about $10,000 a year in rent and about $4,000 in food, um, about $5,000 in tax, um, about $6,000 for my car. If I'm driving to work and back every day, you know, I'll spend a lot of money on gas and insurance and oil changes and other kinds of repairs, you know. Having a car is actually really expensive. If you have a car in Canada, you know, it could cost you 6000 or more. You know, I think some people probably pay like $10,000 a year just to have their car. So it's really expensive. And then I estimate about $3,000 for other expenses. You know, like paying for your cell phone bill, uh, buying clothes, you know, just paying for other things, you know, around the house. Okay, so this all adds up to 28000 so if I make 28800 and my expenses are 28000 that means I will be able to save $800 per year. $800 per year. Okay. Um, and now most condos, like, like the cheapest condo here in Calgary, is about $175,000. Okay, for $175,000, you can get a small but nice new condo here in Calgary. Okay, so this is what I'm hoping to buy. So if we take 175,000 and we divide it by 800 per year, right, we get 219 years. Okay, so it will take me uh, 219 years to save up enough money to buy my condo. So this year is 2019, right? So if we add 219 years to this year, then we get to year 2238. So in year 2238, I will be able to buy my condo and then start making lessons again. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys will be patient. Will you wait till this year? Uh, to watch my videos again. I really, really hope so because I, I just love making lessons for you guys. April Fools! <laughs> April Fools! I'm just joking. 
I'm not quitting Mad English TV. I would miss you too much. <laughs> I would miss you too much. April Fools, do you know what that is? Well, April Fools Day is a day that we celebrate here in like North America. Well, they probably celebrate it in Australia and uh, and the UK too. I don't know, maybe you celebrate it in your country too. I'm not sure. Okay, but it's on April 1st and the whole purpose of the day is to do pranks. Pranks. Do you know what a prank is? A prank is like like a joke. Okay, take a look at this. Okay, here's an example of a prank. Okay, you could take some paper and cut out some bugs out of the paper and, you know, maybe color them black and then tape them to the inside of the lampshade and then when your husband or your wife comes home from work, they'll see this and they'll freak out. They'll freak out. They'll think there's a giant bug in the, in the lamp. Okay, so that's an example of a prank. A prank, okay? And then uh, after you're finished the prank, you can say, April Fools! April Fools! That, that means I'm joking. It basically means I got you. I'm joking. April Fools. Okay, so I'm not quitting Mad English TV. Woohoo! If you're excited in English, you can say, Woohoo! So I'm not quitting. But, you know, um, I did think about quitting because actually the people upstairs are very loud. And uh, sometimes it's hard for me to make videos when they're so loud. For example, last night I was going to make a video, uh, but they were having a party upstairs. And so I thought, you know, I'll just wait. I'll just wait till they finish their party. And so I waited, and I waited, and I waited until like three o'clock in the morning. And then I realized I was tired, and they were still having a party, so I just went to bed. So that's why I was thinking about maybe getting another job, but I decided, no, I'm just going to keep trying to figure out something. So in the future... I'm planning to make scads of videos. Do you know what scads means? I don't know why I was whispering. <laughs> Do you know what the word scads means? Scads means lots of, lots of. Okay, so in the future, I'm going to make lots of videos for you because I love teaching you English. Hey, I want to know, what do you do for April Fool's Day in your country? Do you celebrate it? What kind of pranks do you do on your friends or your family? Let me know down there in the comments, and I'll see you guys over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.